is Hometown Showdown. Two besties, two hometowns, but only one can win. Today, it's me, Olivia, versus my friend, Flossie. <laughs> Belfast versus the Cotswolds. Let the showdown begin. Honey, I'm bringing this one home for the Cotswolds. Oh, my God! Okay, Miss Girl, what the hell are you? I have no idea where I'm going. Dorsey! Hey, babes! <laughs> Welcome to Belfast! What <laughs> are you doing up there? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, was... Did you not see me? Did you see me slip? <laughs> a lot of adrenaline, but how do I look? Was I a natural? Just, no, like big Kim, Kim Possible, is that right? Kim, Kim Possible, Possible energy. <laughs> we literally both look like samurai ninjas. Welcome to Belfast, my hometown. It's so weird, we've literally been best friends and lived with each other for a year and you've still never been here. Hi. Do you want me to point out some fun things? Oh my God, please oh. give me a little tour. City Hall. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. That's St. Paul's vibes. Cave Hill over there, Big Mountain. Used Ooh. to work there. That hotel, Rihanna once stayed in it. One time I sat outside. One Direction stayed in it as well. Um, I want to get started, but we're not taking the stairs. Oh, my I've word. I've booked another ab sale. I can't deal with this right now. I'm not built, not built. OK. Yourself to oh. just Pack it in. Legs. Jesus Christ, give me a break. Olivia? Yeah. If I die, you look after Pablo. <laughs> oh my god! Look down, look down. No! Look down! No! You've got a full audience. Shut up! Ugh, I just scraped up a bit of bird poo with my shoe. I'm not sure where I am. <laughs> You're in Belfast! Hey, Belfast, how are you doing? transport in Belfast. It's like a family tradition of ours when we turn 18, our birthday party, we all come on here and have a great time. But I have got a special treat for you. Basically, it's called brown lemonade. Apparently, it's nowhere else but here. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it looks like when you're really dehydrated and you pee. Ah. I thought we should try the iconic Guinness. It's basically this like stout that everyone's obsessed with in Ireland. Right, you get over the bars. Oh my gosh, no pressure, pouring my first Guinness pint in Belfast. I know, Terrifying. sorry then. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> no, no, no. Stop. Yeah, there is an Instagram called Shit London Guinness. It's a health well from Belfast. Woo! Guinness, and now it's time to try some Northern Irish food. Mm. Quite excited because I don't usually eat traditional Northern Irish food, so let's see what we've got up first. I would like to think I've got quite a varied taste palette until it comes to that. <laughs> that is snot. So this is obviously oysters, because we're by the sea, a lot of our traditional food is seafood, but I'm sorry, I draw the line that get that away from yeah, me, get I'm away from sorry, me. Not today. Okay, so instead of that, we're gonna do this thing called box days, which is like a traditional Irish okay. pancake made of potatoes, and we're gonna like filled it with other traditional Irish food. Okay, so this is our first box day. It just looks like a wee pancake. I have no idea what's inside it. Am I allowed to sniff? No. We're finding out after what it is. You got, it's, like, it's like a blind bite. Okay. It looks like oh. toxic waste. Oh my good God. What is that? Mmm. It's like a sweet. Oh, I know what this is. Oh, are you kidding me? Something I know what's that. Is it yellow mom? Yeah. It's delicious. Oh, I like it. Mmm. That's not smelling too fresh to me. What is it? 
It's really good. What is it? Like tomatoey. It's like spicy tomatoey. It is black fire Belfast starred with Carolina Reapers. Is it spicy? Dare you to take a swig of this bottle? What am I doing? <laughs> oh, spice. <laughs> oh, spice. <laughs> touches my foot in the sea, you know what I'm like. I literally burst into tears. That was on my tongue. <laughs> you just pulled out. You just pulled out. <laughs> Next box date, my hair extension. <laughs> right, boxies and Guinness done. Time for our next fun Belfast activity. Well, Flossie, here we are in our matching tracksuits. What do you think? Um, I think these should actually be made illegal. We're here at Mary Peters Athletics Track in South Belfast. I can definitely see little 11-year-old O-Dog millionaire bolting it around this course. Yeah. I was a runner in a track store. <laughs> my parents are actually both, well, my mum mostly is an athletics coach. Here they are, Paul yeah, and Graham in so their awesome. matching tracksuit. So I thought we could come here today, have a bit of fun with my mum and dad. Maybe mm. we Rest them. Oh, the game is on. Oh, oh my god, why are they so much faster? <laughs> I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Oh my god! Who let you down? Who let you down? It was Fosse. <laughs> that was very impressive. Yeah. Congratulations. Do we get to go on there, like get the, the winners thing, number one and number two? <laughs> <laughs> well, Mum and Dad, great to see you, kind of. Um, we're going to go now. We've got plenty planned. Um, but yeah, thanks for the race. See you, see losers. you losers. Bye. Bye. I'm putting you in a nursing home. Well, Flossie, the day is coming to an end. I've shown you the highs and lows of Belfast. We've done abs, ceiling, athletics. I just wanted to end the day with a bit of fun. So mm -hmm. I've brought you to the place where all the cool kids are, where everyone wants to be in Belfast. Now, it literally, it looks so fun. I can't wait. Take a look at this. Super slide. Catapult. Death drop but it's all about who can pull the best pose for the all-important grab. We're gonna do a bit of a challenge while we're having a laugh. And I literally cannot wait to get in. Can we go in now? Yeah! Woo! Let's go! I had a great time. I mean, I had a really fun time, but I've still got so much faith in Cotswolds, and I'm going to win you over. Oh, I'm excited to see what it has to offer. Oh, can't wait. Bring it on, baby. See you in Cotswolds. <laughs> This is where I grew up. This is where I went to school. This was where I had my first heartbreak back in year three. And I mean, Belfast might have buildings you can abseil off. I'm not sure where I am. 
but does it have this beauty? It's genuine. I've never seen anything like this before. Peep the ginormous dump Olivia's horse just yes. took. Another nice. treasure of the Cotswolds. Olivia's horse keeps farting as well. Like, how fitting I for I know, her. it's like they know. Like, if you don't know, I'm a very gassy kind of girl. Gassy kind of girl. Belfast got nothing on this, let me tell you that. You've got beer bikes, we have horses. Yeah, I suppose. Oh, she be acted up. She be acting up. She like her mama. So, if you thought that was fun, just wait till you see what I have in store for you next. You are not ready, Miss Neil. So, growing up in the Cotswolds, we pride ourselves very much on, like, local art. So, taking you to a pottery studio. Ooh, exciting. Bringing me back to my youth. Did you know that my mum used to be, well, is still a ceramicist? So relaxing and therapeutic, but I do think we could potentially be struggling a little bit with these bad boys. OK, right, let's begin, cos... Ah! Uh, yeah, there we go! <laughs> so we're making trophies so that we can award it to the person with the best hometown. So me, grow up. <laughs> Do you know what? Yeah. I'm not a very creative person. I mean, I wasn't allowed to do GCSE or I wanted to, and they were like, You weren't allowed to. Like, he didn't nah. let you. Geography and GCSE, they were like, Nah, babe, not happening. Babe? What's going on there? <laughs> babe? <laughs> I'm on the edge of an actual asteroid. <laughs> yeah, can we just bear in mind that on the way here, Olivia goes, Shakespeare invent the English language. He did. The, I, the, he the, did. The, the, the English language. He invented English. I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh. quite proud of it. I mean, yes, the loser isn't that clear, and you do kind of have to squint to see it, but it's like it's like abstract. That is one of the scariest things I've ever seen in my life. It looks almost like a little bit like a lotus flower. Um, anyway, this has been very fun. I've got something a little bit more fun for us next, maybe a little bit more up your street. A bit more adrenaline. Yeah. So I say we get cleaned up, maybe. So, Olivia, you may have seen a little poster back in Chipping Camden that said something about a Cotswolds Olympics. And what's a Cotswolds Olympics, you may be asking. And I'm about to show you exactly that. It's a very traditional Cotswolds thing. Nowhere else has it. It's been going since the 1700s. It was a huge thing for me growing up with my friends. And this, my love, is the Cotswolds Olympics. Is it like professional athletes that are doing this or is it just anyone? Is it Ooh, locals? No, yeah, it's absolutely like local yokels. <laughs> like, um, okay, some of the stuff is rather questionable, but I'm up for it. We'll give yeah. it a good go. It'll be a good go. Coming on to our first game here, which is called Spurring the Bar. So you just pick up the bar, the log, yeah, the stick. By the bottom. By the bottom, over your shoulders, and you just, ugh. Ugh. Just like, ugh, and it will go boop, 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 boop. And I think you just got to get it as far as you can. Okay. Okay. Ugh. 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 I don't know what I was expecting, but that wasn't it. Ugh. 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 Ow. Why was it so underwhelming from both of us? There was more height and distance on mine. Weighing up from that, I would say I'm the winner. <laughs> I think if anyone watches that back, you'll be able to tell. I definitely want it. So, Miss Neil, we are here at our next game called Dwile Flonking. And what is this, you may ask? A tea towel. Incorrect. It is a dwile. The premise of this game is we've got a lovely little trough full of ale. Yeah? Okay. Big drinkers, us Cotswolds folk. And then, what's a flonk? What is a flonk? This is a flonk. No, I don't want a flonk. That's... I don't want a flonk. <laughs> <That's... laughs> Tried to flunk it and I missed. Our last activity and one that I am the most excited for is a little old game called shin kicking. It's quite self-explanatory. You basically just have to like 
pelt each other in the shins until one of you taps out. Honey, I'm bringing this one home for the Cotswolds. This is for my people. Ready? Ready? Three, two, one. Fight. Ow! <laughs> like How are you going to say ow when we're shaking? <laughs> Olivia wins. Get him! <laughs> right, I want, I want everyone to watch that footage back. There was definitely some sort of foul play in there. So after all those tiring games, I thought it would be nice to have a little sit down and we're going to have some Cotswold delicacies. In the I have some Cotswold wine. This cheese is called Stinking Bishop. I swear it smells like poo. It is pretty horrendous. Oh my God, it's actually delicious. Really? It's really, how can it be so deceiving? Mm, a bit like me, isn't it? <laughs> Stinky, but really nice. <laughs> Also have something called a mustard ball, and would you look at that? Gold, gold plated. Why is it hurting me? <laughs> Near me, there's this hotel called the Three Ways Hotel, and they have something there called the Pudding Club, where you get not one but seven puddings. Mm. 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 So we have brought the pudding club outside. Oh, it's a bit like it, um, like organy. Cheers. I'm not sure. I'm not too sure either. No. Fruity. Delicious. I don't think I've ever tried apple crumble. On to the next activity, and I'm glad you've got your belly full and maybe even a couple of sips of wine down you because I don't think you know what I've got in store for you. There's one appropriate way to decide who is the real winner, who has the best hometown. This! I know you've always wanted to be a pilot, but I feel like this is the next best thing. Wow. Let's do it. I'm so excited. So, Olivia, we are going to be strapped into heart rate monitors, and the deal is whoever freaks out the least is the winner. So stay calm, honey. No pressure. You're the one that was pooing yourself with the abs. Like, I'm confident I'm going to win this challenge. Oh, that's real bold of you to assume. Fully backing myself on this one. Olivia! Olivia! was one of the most, well, I think the most incredible thing I've ever seen, felt, witnessed at such like a once in a lifetime. Well, I would say once in a lifetime. I'm literally like, I would do this again. So, Olivia, I think it's fair to say that was the most exhilarating experience I've ever had in my life. What about you? It was so exhilarating, but not enough to raise my heartbeat. No, so obviously we did make an agreement prior to this wonderful wing walk that whoever had the lowest heart rate was in fact going to be the winner of this hometown showdown. So I think it's time for the moment of truth. Maximum heart rate, 150 beats per minute. What was, what's yours? What's yours? Bossy, tell me. Why was I literally should have been dead? 176? Oh, boom! Is that yeah. not like you're actually supposed to be dead? In which case, I call the rematch because that's not accurate. No, it is. You, just, you were just terrified. You don't want to admit it. 176? Yes, I knew I could do it. I literally oh. thought I was so calm. No, I was, I'm, I found my zen up there. I feel like I'm calm. As the winner of this episode of Hometown Showdown, 
I give this lovely plaque that says loser to you with great honor. You take that home, stick it on your wall. I take absolutely no pleasure in giving you this, apart from the fact it means I never have to see it ever again. Aww. We had a great time. You gonna drink your apple sours out of that now? Yeah, probably. Do you know what? All competition aside, I literally had so much fun. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Hometown Showdown. I had an amazing time. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you want to subscribe to me, click down below. If you want to subscribe to Flossie, click down below as well. If you want to watch some more Hometown Showdown, you can watch the episode with Chunks and Maya Jama, Dan and Phil, and Rotashaw and Will Any. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.